Okay, so today in front of me, I got the Sony WH-1000XM fours. So this is the newer version, obviously, to the XM3s. They have updated this. And the biggest difference that I noticed between the Mark IVs and the Mark Threes, besides the price, which these are going for right now for $349, is that these do have multiple device support. So what that means is that you can hook these up to maybe your laptop and your cell phone at the same time or your tablet and your cell phone at the same time. So if you're doing one thing on your laptop, your phone rings, you can pick it up and it'll seamlessly transition over. And then once you hang your phone call up, it'll switch back so that you don't have to worry about going through your Bluetooth settings and then switching over and stuff like that. And the second thing that is different from the Mark IVs to the Mark III's is the noise canceling inside of these is a little bit better than the Mark III's. But for $349, is that enough for you to buy these or upgrade to these? Or if you don't have these at all, you can go and find the Mark III's for around $250. You want to see some love? It's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. What's going on, YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, before I continue this video, I would just like to give a big shout Shout out and a special thanks to Abunda for sponsoring this video. What is Abunda, might you ask? Abunda is an online company that gives you the ability to buy now and pay later for almost any Amazon product that you can imagine. So how does Abunda work? So what they did, they partnered with Klarna, Viabill, and QuadPay to give you flexible payment plans. And as you look right here on their website, it says simple monthly plans on millions of products. So what you wanna do is you just search or paste in an Amazon link right here. You would add it to your cart and you would select a payment plan. So let's just say you're in the market for a new TV. So we go ahead in this search bar, we'll search for LG OLED. Hit enter. Then it will bring up a bunch of different options right here. And then so what I do like, I do like this 55 inch 4K smart OLED TV. Click on that and what it will show you, you can pay as low as $95 a month. You add that to your cart. Once you hit checkout, you go through the process of entering all your information and it's simple as that. Now Abundant gives you access to over 100 million products and they do have a lot of different categories as you can see right here. You have AC unit financing, auto parts, blender financing, car audio. I mean the list just goes on. Drones, e-bikes, GoPros headphones, it's literally just endless. If you have any doubts, any worries, or any questions on how this exactly works, go ahead and head over to the Frequently Asked Questions page and it will break everything down for you. So if you're interested in this company, Abunda, link will be in the description down below. You click on that, just tell me your boy Nicholas sent you. Okay, so going around this box on the front side, you do have the image of that Mark IVs, which they are literally identical to the Mark III's. You have the 360 reality audio, and I when I did, I don't know which version of the earbuds that I tested out with these, but the sound quality for the 360 reality audio is amazing. Google Assistant, Alexa built in on the back side. It talks about the 30 hour battery life with ANC on, 38 hours with ANC off, and a 10 minute quick charge will get you an extra five hours of battery life. So that is extremely dope. Hands-free call-in, voice assistant function, USB type C, headphone cable, plug adapter for in-flight use, carrying case, and that's pretty much it for the main specs on the back side of this box. So let's go ahead and jump into this box and see exactly how these look, sound, feel, and I will be getting to the app as well. Okay, so on the inside of this box is no different. Nice unboxing. Sony has a very nice presentation always. You do get the easy setup guide, and then underneath that you have your carrying case, and then you have a bunch of literature right here. I mean, Sony does not care about the environment, if you ask my opinion. A simple pamphlet saying refer to the Sony Connect app would go a long way in saving all of this stuff. You can have all this stuff in the app. I mean, they probably already do, but to add this extra stuff, I don't know, I guess it's just for more awareness. You do get a hard case, you get the, this pouch on the back, and you get this tab right here if you want to hang it to your back backpack or something with the carabiner on the inside of this case as you open it up you do get the headphones laying out nice right here so they do fold up just like this to fit inside of the case very nicely and then you also have your audio cable you have your airplane adapter right here and you also get your usb type a to usb type c charging cable right here 
And here are the headphones themselves. Let me set that to the side. And one thing that I do like what Sony always does is that they do leave a little cutout inside of here so that you can see which side the left side goes on and they give you the button functions right here on the right ear cup. And so that's pretty much everything that comes inside of the case. Now for the headphones themselves. The first thing that I noticed about these headphones is the cushions on the headband and the ear cups, they are about 10% thicker than the Mark III's, but overall this is the same exact design. On the left ear cup, you do have your NFC logo, and what I did notice when I first opened these up is that you do have your proximity sensor, which helps out more with the automatic pause function and everything, which I'll touch when I get inside the app. On the bottom side of the left ear cup, you do have your custom button right here. You also have your power button as well, and then you have the headphone jack also. On the bottom side of the right ear cup, you have your USB type C charging port. You do have the sliding headband, which slides inside of itself, rotating ear cups. These do come in two different colors. I don't know if I said this earlier, but you do have this all black color right here, and then you also have a silver color. And to be honest with you, if you look right here, the silver color is more like a, a beige color, not really a silver color, but hey, maybe my eyes are off. And then also you do have your mic holes right here underneath the left ear cup. And those work in conjunction with the mics that are located on the top side of both ear cups. So that helps out with your enhanced voice recognition, call quality, active noise cancellation, you know, all that good stuff when it comes to sound quality and everything. So, and these are a very nice design. I mean, really similar to the Mark III. So it's really not a big difference right here. Um, just like the Mark III's, they fit nice, they look nice, they are very light fitting, and they don't have that big clamor force when they're on your ears. I mean, all in all, are there better over the ear headphones out there that look a little bit better? Yes, but do they perform better? It, you're going to be hard pressed to find another pair of headphones within this price range. Don't get me wrong, you can go and get the eight, nine, one thousand dollar headphones that were, that will probably outperform these. Um, but those are studio quality, and I don't know that if the average consumer is willing to pay that much money for over the ear headphones. When you get these, what you wanna do is download the Sony Headphones Connect app, which I have right here. Open that up. This is what the dashboard looks like. And at the top right, it automatically says to use the headphones comfortably. Check the tutorial, click right there. I am not gonna run through this tutorial right now. I'm just gonna run through everything inside of this app. It gives you your battery life at 100%. You have your power button at the top right next to the three dot icon and I can turn these on and off if I want to. If you click on the arrow right here, you can adjust this, you can turn this off. So it says adapt the sound control. The app detects your actions and locations you frequent and automatically switches headphone settings such as how to take an ambient sound notification sound emitted when switching can be muted by turning notifications and voice guides off. So. I'm not a big fan of the adaptive sound control. So what that does, it will measure the sound around you. Say if you're commuting to work and then if you're walking on the street and then you're sitting in your office, it'll adjust the sound control depending on what you're doing. I don't want any of that, so I'm going to turn that off. But as you can see right here, you can actually adjust that right here from staying, walking, and you can click, click on focus on voice when you're walking and then running as well. All of that stuff is right here. And then also transport. And I'm not gonna turn that on because I don't like that. And then also you do have your learning of locations you frequent. So if you turn that on, like I said before, it'll, it'll adjust. So you do have to allow access access from location settings. So since I don't want that on anyways, I'm going to cut this completely off. Okay, so at the bottom right here, as you can see, it's automatically updating the latest software. So you don't have to wait for it to set up before you can run the app, it'll automatically start running. And so the next tab under sound, as you can see, ambient sound control, noise canceling, you can turn that all, all the way up. It goes to a level of 20 and that lets the ambient sound in. I don't want that right now, so I'm gonna do that. Now you do have this speak to chat function right here. It says you can start a conversation while wearing your headphones by simply starting to talk. Now, I'm not gonna turn that on and what that does is like, if you are 
listening to music and then you start talking it automatically stop your music let ambient noise in so that you can have your conversation but please leave a comment down below if you're listening to music at any time and you don't i don't know sing along with the words if you do that it'll automatically stop because it thinks that you're having a conversation and then your music just stops and you won't be able to sing along with words. You got to sit there and just be quiet. I mean, for some people, you might not do that. But I know for me, myself, if I have a song on and it's a banger, I'm going to sing along with the words or try my best to sing along with the words. So I'm going to keep that off right there. You also have noise canceling optimizer. So what that does, it optimizes these headphones, depending on your ear shape, best for your hearing. So let me go ahead and hit start. Start with the headphones worn as you always would. If the wearing condition and the atmospheric pressure change, and just redo the process so I'm going to hit okay and I'm going to run this real quick okay so that's completely done atmospheric pressure optimized optimized to 1.0 ATM I don't know what that is but that's set up you also have your equalizer right here there's different settings you can have them on you can have bright excited mellow relaxed vocal treble boost bass boost oh don't want that speech manual custom one and custom two if i want to customize it so click on that and then here you go right here you're able to customize exactly how you want your sound to be when you're listening to your own music so i'm hit okay but i'm going to go back to bass boost and just leave it on that for right now you also get your 360 reality audio setup i already have that set up you have the dsee extreme off and audi and auto i don't know what that means if you do please leave a comment down below because i would love to know what that means and and then you also have sound quality mode priority on sound quality or priority on stable connection i will keep the priority on sound quality and then under the systems tab what you have right here and this is where you can connect to multiple devices at the same time so if you click on that it'll let you know to tell you reconnection is necessary but i'm not going to do that right now but that's where you do connect to multiple devices at the same time change functions of custom buttons so if you click on that gear icon it gives you what you want for operation method press one time on the right one it says noise canceling ambient sound on and off long press noise canceling optimizer and you can adjust it to whatever you want and I do believe that's just for the right one because the touchpad's only on the right one. Touch sensor control panel, you can turn that on and off if you don't like that feature at all. Automatic power off, off when headphones are taken off. I do like that, helps conserve battery. Pauses when headphones are taken off, notification and guide, and you have different language you can choose from. You have English, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Dutch, Swedish, Finnish, Russian, Japanese, Brazilian, Portuguese, Korean, Turkish, and Chinese. That is a lot of languages right there and an automatic download software which it is doing right now i always leave that on it helps with keeping my headphones up to date and i don't have to think about it or anything i did speak about the speak to chat function before and if you do turn that on if you go inside the settings you do have the ability to it says voice to text sensitivity automatic you can change it from high to low and at the bottom you can read exactly what these settings are about if you do speak loud enough it will cut on no matter what sensitivity you have it on and then it says time until mode closes you can cut these on and off and i would like it on the shortest amount because if you just start speaking you have to wait 15 seconds until the music's to the music cuts back on i would like to see that maybe at five seconds or three seconds so that you don't have to wait so long i mean 15 seconds if you think about it is a long time if you're waiting for your music to come back on especially if you're in, in the middle of a song that you really love so i don't know that's just my opinion okay so that's pretty much everything for what's inside of this app and also they do have this feature where if you're listening to music and you hold the right ear cut right here it will give you a chime and it will let the ambient sound noise in and so you can continue having a conversation. I don't know if this is easier for you to do or just to do this right here. This will pause your music as well. This will turn your music down and you can just have a conversation right here. This is what I'm used to doing. If someone comes and talk to me, I just move it to the side, music pauses, and then I can have a conversation as opposed to doing this. Maybe I'm just not used to doing this. That's why it seems weird. I don't know, that's just me. It's up to you, this feature is available. If you do like that, it's there for you. Okay, so before I get into the sound quality and everything like that, I did notice that when I was testing these out, I'm not a fan of this touchpad at all whatsoever. Cause when I was touching the touchpad, 
it was a hit or miss when I was trying to play a pause in music. It wasn't like I tap it and it plays a pause music automatically. It was like I tap it two, three, four, five times and then maybe one of those times it would play a pause the music. If you are into the touch pads on the right ear cup, one tap, play and pause your music, swipe forward, track forward, swipe back, track back, swipe up, volume up, swipe down, volume down. The custom button on the right side, you can also turn the ambient sound control on and off and you can have active noise cancellation turned on and off on that as well. And that's a lot easier than messing with the touchpad. I don't know, physical buttons to me are just better. That's just my opinion overall. I do love the physical buttons on here. Since they do give you options with these physical buttons, I'm loving these headphones even more. But anyways, sound quality, what more can I say? amazing sound quality on any song that I have listened to but I did notice that maybe if you're a bass head you might not be messing with these yes there is a custom EQ that you can adjust the levels and everything but I went inside the EQ messed around with that and I wasn't able to get extreme amount of bass. Bass was noticeable, but it wasn't like the, I believe it's the Skull Crusher, the Skull Candy Crushers. I do think these are geared more towards audio files and people that like a more balanced and dynamic sound as opposed to that extreme bass, but that's just my opinion. And then paired with the 360 reality audio, I mean, the sound stage is just amazing on here. The highs are crystal clear, probably some of the best sounding highs that I've heard on over the ear headphones. I haven't tested out your super premium $1,000, $800 headphones. And then for the mids, mids are perfectly balanced through any track that I listen to. And sound quality overall to me, I really love the sound quality. I'm more of a dynamic sound person. I do enjoy my fair share of bass, but if I can get a clear sound and just a uh, average amount of bass, then I'm cool with it either way. I did test out the latency on here and just as expected, there were no latency issues on any video streaming services that I tested out. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime TV, Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus, you know, all the usual suspects. The call quality was amazing. These extra microphones, these enhanced microphones on here really help out with the call quality no matter what environment you're in. I did turn on some simulated noise in the background and called a couple people and they were able to hear me just fine. The microphones actually helped out a lot more than what I expected. I did have simulated crowd noise going on and they were still able to hear me just fine. Yes, they could hear it a little bit because I, got, I went a little bit crazy and turned it up um, to about seven or eight, but they were able to hear me just fine. It didn't drown out my voice whatsoever. So shout out to Sony for enhancing the call quality on here. And as you're hearing my voice, this is how the other people would hear you on the other end. And so yeah, people overall, I mean, if you don't have the Mark threes and you have the money, $350 to pick up the Mark fours, definitely pick up the Mark fours, the extra features, the better, active noise cancellation, the multiple device support, to me is justification enough to pick these up. But if you don't wanna spend that type of money on these headphones, you can go ahead and pick up the Mark Threes. You really won't notice the difference if you haven't messed with the Mark Fours anyways. That is my full review on the Sony WH-1000XM4s. As always, if you find any value in this video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. Or if this is your first time coming to my channel, smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when I drop my latest tech videos. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.